Hey, Shine Honors, and welcome to another edition of Shot of Espresso. Uh, on this week, we are going to be focusing on how to pick the right audiences on TikTok. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So in our previous Shots of Espresso, we've talked a lot about Facebook ads, uh, and I know we've talked about TikTok ads in the past. Um, but what I really wanted to focus on, like if you look at both ad platforms and there's a lot of ad platforms that sort of stolen Facebook's setup, if you will, or structure. Um, a lot of them do overlap. So Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, they all have uh, a folder structure. So same organization, basically it's, you have a campaign, you have an ad set, unless you're on TikTok, they call it an ad group, but it's the exact same thing, has the exact same functionality. Uh, and then you have your ads. And those vary a little bit differently um, between each traffic network, but honestly, they're pretty much the same. Um, what I want to focus on is the difference between TikTok and Facebook because they are so, so similar. There really is only one major difference, and that's sort of the targeting aspect of it. And even in that, uh, there's still some overlap. So that's what this, this shot of espresso is all about. So let's go ahead and get started on it. So how do you pick uh, the right audience on TikTok? So TikTok loves bigger, broader audiences, just like Facebook has been saying for years as well. Uh, TikTok is very much uh, in that same camp. Now it makes sense because pretty much most of TikTok's uh, current ad uh, manager engineers and ad algorithm engineers came from the Facebook world. So they got poached from Facebook uh, over to TikTok. And so it makes sense that there would be a ton of similarities between them. Um, as far as ad group setup, you have a lot of the identical options as far as locations, uh, placements. You can go manual placements, which I've shown in a previous video. Um, I recommend only running on TikTok, not on the other two that they offer. Uh, they have demographic targeting, so you can choose each individual age group and whether you want to target male, female, or both. Um, so those are all similar, uh, virtually identical, if you, if you lack of a better term, than on Facebook. But where the, the similarities and differences also go is in the targeting options themselves. Uh, so on Facebook, we are all very familiar with uh, interest targeting, right? So you have an affinity interest um, that you get lumped in as a user on Facebook, and then you get lumped into this audience. So for example, uh, let's say you like being married. So you talk about how much you love your wife or your husband, uh, and you end up getting into Facebook's married interest category. So as I, as an advertiser, or you as an advertiser can go in, click uh, detailed interest and type in married, and then a whole bunch of people show up that have demonstrated that they belong in that interest group. TikTok has very similar things as well, except they're kind of broken down by major categories, and then they show multiple suggestions uh, automatically and they call them similar interests. Uh, Facebook, if you type in a keyword and then you select, you know, I want married, and then you go suggest more, they'll give you a list of other things that are related to married. Uh, so this is what uh, TikTok has. Um, so all of these interests that we're gonna talk about is gearing up for testing for Mother's Day, which you guys should be starting to do. Uh, Mother's Day is at the end of March. I think it's March 27th for the UK. Uh, and then it's in May for the US, Canada, and France. Um, so it's a great time to start targeting for that or start testing uh, your evergreen mom uh, phrases. Nothing necessarily geared towards uh, Happy Mother's Day because I think that's a little too early. But if you can start getting some traction and get to break even on a mom campaign, so dear mom, I love you, to mom, I love you, uh, and it can be a message card, it can be a, a heart uh, engraved product, it can be a graphic product, uh, it can be a bangle bracelet. So don't just think of only message cards, right? We, we could be a bar necklace. Um, there's a ton of different products that we offer. It could be a piece of metal art uh, that you give her for the house that you either, you know, that she's currently living in and, and to remind uh, her of maybe when she became a mom. Um, so a lot of different options on product types. I know that message cards get a lot of attention from us. 
uh, and rightly so, they, they do sell quite, quite well. So I'm not trying to talk down message cards. Uh, I just want to broaden your, your thought process and your idea matrix uh, on thinking of other products that we offer. So what I did was I found the biggest, broadest category that would fit mom, at least in my head. Uh, so I chose baby kids and maternity makes sense in my head uh, and then what came up for similar interests is skill bear color hands toys pillow postures backs fast moving consumer goods mother and baby products gift to a child sports entertainment motions puzzle fast moving consumer goods uh, thinking cool gifts closet so you could leave it just here and run that as an ad group would recommend that it's a very broad category and we run very broad appealed products so it fits but if you want to you know stack some of these instead of just the big broad category feel free to do that that's probably the most similar uh, interest targeting that we have to facebook ads right so you have uh, your category advertising and then the suggestions from that and this is where uh, TikTok starts getting a little bit unique so we also have um let me make sure i didn't skip one yep so this is going to be interactions that users have with specific categories of videos. And we can choose uh, the different, like, what do they have? Is it watched to the end? Did they like it? Did they comment or did they share? Again, in my thought process, I want big, as big an audience as I can. So I went ahead and checked all of them, right? So I, I checked all four. You don't have to check all four. Um, but I checked all four and I chose the biggest, broadest category. Uh, that I could find and that's family and I wanted it within the last 15 days so that means we are now going to target people who have watched a video like comment or shared a video about families or family related topics in the last 15 days that's pretty relevant information right um, if you want to split test this out then I would say instead of lumping it all together split test one ad group for this one ad group for that one ad group for that and one ad group for that uh, if I was going to do this, I would probably run it as a, as a CBO campaign, so campaign optimized, and I would have four ad groups, and the only difference would be it would be the same category, same 15 days. One ad group would be watch till end, one liked, one commented, and one shared. So that would be how I would split test this if I didn't want to run it just lumped all together. Um, so this is pretty unique. Now, Facebook does offer uh, a similar way to target but it's based off of like the, the user has to be done off of your videos so it's more like custom audiences retargeting if you ran a video uh, or a post then you could create a custom audience for people that liked uh, or interacted with your ads or posts so that's like facebook a page engagement type audiences video views custom audiences would be like watch till the end um, but facebook does not offer uh, the the ability to lump people in an audience that did an action on any video that's related to your particular category versus only being able to do it on your specific video. So it's pretty powerful from TikTok. Uh, it's definitely worth the test. And then uh, the, the third option is very similar to the second, except now instead of interacting with specific videos, we're talking about interacting with specific creators. So you have videos as the content that all creators produce, uh, and then you have creators that focus on these types of videos. Uh, so that could be people that either followed uh, the, the creator or viewed their profile uh, again in the last, I think it was 15 days, was by default. Uh, and then same categories as this. And it kind of makes sense, right? So TikTok created the categories and said, do you want to target the videos or do you want to get a little bit more specific? and uh, higher intent based so people actually interact with the creators themselves not just the videos so again uh, it's a split test right like i would set up a campaign that ran just straight broad interests like this i would run a campaign where i would either run um, one all lumped together as interacting with video types um, or i would do a cbo where i would go uh, one ad group per section and then I would uh, do another campaign for creators. And then this one's my personal favorite coming up. I would do, they. Uh, this was in beta for a few months and now I believe it is out for all accounts. I think it came out um, in late January to early February, all accounts got access to hashtag targeting. Now, if you want relevance to me on TikTok, you can't get more relevant than 
people who uh, have watched videos that are hashtag this. So it's literally, you've got a creator who made a video about a specific topic. And now you're telling me I can choose that keyword, that hashtag that that creator chose to use and only target those particular videos. So all I did here was enter the keyword mom, not hashtag mom, just the, the keyword itself. So mom, uh, and then I let TikTok tell me all of the different hashtags that are used. And you can see here that I've got one, two, three, four, 16 uh, hashtags that are here, but you can see this drop down, right? So this drop down go goes and goes and goes. So I probably have 30 to 50 hashtags selected in this. Uh, and this you would think would be very, very narrow. And in some cases, depending on what your niche is, it can be. Um, in this case, because it's mom, and that's very, very broad, uh, even with all, with all these hashtags, I had about 40 million people in the audience, which is ideal. That's kind of where you want to be when you're in TikTok land. Now, I have another brand that is very niche, so there's not nearly as many hashtags available for me as there are for mom, uh, and I only had 4 million people in that audience, and that's pretty narrow for TikTok. Uh, but just like on Facebook, they do have a toggle switch where you can toggle it on and it'll say, use whatever I'm choosing to target as the base and then grow the audience for me and make it bigger. So that's done well for me as well. So those are really the big differences from a targeting aspect between TikTok and Facebook. Um, I would highly recommend you split test a lot of this stuff. That's how you learn. Like I can sit there and say, well, I'm having great results on uh, hashtags. And then you try it and you have terrible results on hashtags. It could be that we're in different niches. It could be a different product type. It could be you chose different hashtags than I did. It could be, you know, if it's, uh, I haven't experienced this yet on TikTok, but it could be that maybe my ad account likes hashtags better than your ad account does. Um, so there's zero guarantees. If I said, make sure you run mom tip, mom son, mom FYP, mom car, and mom talks, and you're guaranteed a winner, I'd make a whole lot of money because I would charge a whole bunch of money to tell people that, right? But it's definitely worth something to split test. That's going to be your best educator out there. Uh, hiring coaches, hiring, uh, buying courses, watching videos, consuming content. That's all good for theory. That's all good for answering specific questions. But the very best teacher is you physically creating the products, creating your product funnels and driving traffic to them, analyzing data, and then adjusting what you do from the data you analyzed. And now the coaching comes in handy when you're like, I don't know how to analyze the data. I don't know what I'm looking at. Right? So that's helpful from a waste standpoint. So you're not gonna have to spend as much money to figure all that stuff out than you would say a coach saying, hey, all right, so we have some data, let's analyze it together and this is what I'm seeing. And this is what you should do based off of the, the, the results that you got. So anyway, I'll get off my soapbox on coaching. It serves a purpose. Uh, it can be very helpful and definitely shorten the, the learning curve. Uh, but the best teacher I will always believe is, is analyzing your own data, running your own traffic and spending money on ad dollars. Uh, so it's, you know, proof is in the pudding. It's my favorite method right now is uh, hashtags targeting. I wish uh, Facebook and if Instagram did this, holy cow, same type of thing, right? So Instagram's not doing this because I don't think Facebook's really working on their ad platform very much anymore. I think they're focusing on metaverse, um, which is why we continue to see performance not be very stable on Facebook. It's very hit or miss right now. Uh, TikTok is something that if you ha are think have thought about it, uh, I highly recommend you get off the fence and you dive in and start testing it. You might be very surprised on, on the results. Um, what else did I have in here? I think that's about it. Wouldn't want to keep this one too long. Uh, I You guys can let me know in the comments below if you like the, these shorter ones or you like longer ones. Um, sometimes I don't want to give you so much information that it like your head's spinning at the end of it. I just want to show you, like, if I were setting this stuff up for Mother's Day, this is how I'm going to test. I'm going to set up different campaigns to test each thing, if it, especially if it's a new traffic source and if it's a new niche. So I have not done a Mother's Day product yet for Shine On. So therefore, I have to set stuff up just like it were brand new, just like if you were brand new to not just uh, Shine On, but if you were brand new to the mom niche, especially on TikTok. I doubt many of us have ever run a Shine On product on TikTok before for Mother's Day, right? There's not many of us out there that have done that. Uh, so it's a lot of testing. 
in the beginning and keep your budgets low. You're just trying to get the ad accounts to spend, analyze, get some data and then analyze that data. And then whichever one, if one of these targeting options really pops off for us, that's what we're going to focus on. Now, historically for us, the two that have worked best for me uh, is the big broad audiences by doing the categories. That's number one. Uh, and then number two is the hashtags. So maybe it cuts down your testing in half right there. Test the hashtags and test big broad audiences. See which works better for you. Okay. And then don't forget about these. I'm not saying they're not useful and I'm not saying they can't be great, that they can't be the winner for you. What I'm saying is, is out of our, our tests, we found uh, big success in the interest categories, the big broad ones and in hashtags. And that, my friends, is shot of espresso. Short, sweet, and to the point, actionable. None of this matters if you don't do action with it. So uh, put together, if you aren't already starting to put together your Mother's Day stuff, start putting your Mother's Day stuff. It's almost as big as Q4. Uh, obviously, there's not as much lead up time as there is in Q4, and that's usually, that's pretty much the only difference. Everybody's got a mom, right? Now, not everyone has a mom that's living, and not everyone has a mom uh, that's in good relations that you would want to buy a present for. But there's an awful lot of people who do like their mom and they have to get them something. So why not your shine on product? All right. Think about it. As always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to, to watch this. And if you have any questions, please make sure you tag me in the, the comments below. Otherwise I won't see them and I can't answer what I don't see. All right. Until then stay shiny y'all.